We are living in a wide and hyper-connected world of communicative abundance. We call it information superhighways, where text, sound and images are flying at a galactic speed and scale that we have never seen before. Look, social media platforms are dominating our mind space like anything. It's a kind of digital democracy that brings people together. These digital platforms are playing a pivotal role in shaping public opinion. We agree, we accept and we concede that these platforms have given people more space, freedom and greater leeway to express every shade of opinion, every slice of perspective and every nuance of expression. Having said that, there is a flip side to it. These platforms have been morphed into a gigantic propaganda machine for spreading the venom of racism, misogyny, bigotry and xenophobia. The cyberspace has turned out to be a digital mobocracy and a free-for-all place for peddling radical, activistic, divisive, sectarian, stereotypes and malicious and malevolent ideas and ideologies. The algorithms of these platforms are aimed at intentionally amplifying and hyperbolizing the type of content that keeps its users engaged. The saddest and the sorriest thing today is that a light can travel halfway around the world but while the truth is putting in its shoes. Every day, 5 billion videos are watched on YouTube, but the content of this video is suspect. They are replete with obscene, offensive, smutty, salacious, sensual, crazy, repulpary, titillating, X-rated, and pornographic material. You will be stunned and stupefied to see the huge and humongous size of Facebook. In 2019, Facebook had 2.45 billion users on it. That means the double of China's population. If you give Facebook a land or territory, Facebook is gonna be the largest populated country in the world. This is the size. This is the colossal size of the social media giant. But here is a sobering question begs to be asked. A million dollar question. How can we leverage and utilize these platforms in a very productive and constructive manner? Yes, we can. If we could make that our aim, if we prioritize truth over lies, tolerance over prejudice, empathy over indifference, and experts over ignoramuses, excellence over mediocrity, civility over arrogance, and morality over promiscuity, then maybe, just maybe, we can stop this bloody propaganda machine in history. We can save democracy. We can still have a liberal, robust place where people can enjoy the oxygen of more informed conversations, nuanced thinking, high-octane debates, freedom to question received notions, for very many stereotypes will be shattered, where very many dogmas will be declassified and very many paradigms will be punctured. Thank you.